I'm Kate and today I'm going to be talking to you all about my favorite fall perfumes. I'm one of those people that likes warm kind of perfumes all year round. So these are the four that I like love and specifically wear in the fall and winter months. So they're very special because I love them the most. So if you like this video and you would like to hang out with moi every Monday and Friday, I would love for you to tap that red subscribe button down below. And if you want to become a part of the Glam Fam, then go ahead and tap on that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the future fun. All right, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to work my way up to my favorite. So it's not like I have a least favorite, it's just that I'm gonna talk about the other ones before I talk about like my favorite, favorite, favorite. So the first one I have is by Pinrose and this one is called Secret Genius. Now I'm going to read to you the description of what this perfume says and then I will put the notes right over here so that you can see exactly what is in it. So this one, this is from Pinrose.com. This says, melt hearts with this romantic blend of vanilla and caramel, perfect for hatching plans and sneaking kisses. Now this one I would say is absolutely wonderful for like a fall daytime perfume. It's a little bit less intense than the other ones. So this one is just kind of like a lighter fall fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's nice and warm. All of these are going to be warm because I feel like that's what is most, not appropriate, but like what people are searching for in a fall and winter perfume. So this one, is like a warm, fresh scent. If those two words can actually come together and smell like something nice, this is going to be exactly what it is. It's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit fresher, but it still has that warm vanilla-iness to it. So it's not too overwhelming of like a sweet scent either. You definitely still smell like an adult. It's not like something you'd find at Claire's. This is something that's like very nice and uh, even office appropriate. I love this. I got this a couple years ago. Oh my goodness, I think it smells absolutely wonderful. So I haven't used this bottle as much, but there I did, but there, but never. But I do have a smaller one that I carry around with me and put on anytime I feel like I need a little bit more of a pick-me-up. So that's what I've been using a lot. So if you're like, that's your favorite and you've used so very little of it, no. I've used a lot of this, it's just not with this specific bottle. And plus, I think this is really cute and I feel like this is perfect for traveling also. So. Penrose Secret Genius is a definitely a wonderful fall daytime scent. Another more daytime appropriate perfume. This one is a little bit more of a splurge, but sometimes perfumes are just a little bit more expensive, but they're gonna last you a very long time. So this one is by Commodity and this is gold. And this is what it says on their website. It says, rich enough to bathe in, this decadent fragrance is an intoxicating journey to one's innermost desires, thoughts, and impulses. It's warm gourmand scent is a luxurious, is that how you say that? I don't even know. It's warm scent is a luxurious blend of molten amber, balsamic benzoin, and sweet vanilla. Commodity Gold is part of the white collection which includes bright, fresh, and uplifting fragrances for him, for her, and for you. So again, a warm, fresh scent. I absolutely love this one. I feel like I've worn this so often and have barely used up any of this. Mmm, smells so good. I have such a struggle describing what this smells like because I wish I could just go pssst and have you be able to smell it, but they do sell this at Sephora. This one I got at Nordstrom, so go in and just smell them for yourself. This one is just such a dream. It smells very fresh and light, but it has that warm, I don't know if it's patchouli or sandalwood that I'm picking up on, but those are typically the perfumes I'm most drawn to. So. This one is definitely a winner for me. Very nice and light and daytimey, but definitely still warm and wonderful for the autumnal season. So the next one I actually wore to Generation Beauty. So whenever I smell this, I'm like, Oh my goodness, it was my first ever beauty convention. I went a couple years ago and it was such a fun time, but it's so funny because whenever I smell this, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's right. This is what I wore and it brings back so many amazing memories. So this one is a Dolce & Gabbana Intense. I love this one. This one is definitely a little bit more on the 
deeper, intense side of life, and this one is perfect for that like nighttime date, even though I wore this to a beauty convention. It's one of those things. I've always been drawn to more like kind of more masculine scents, something that just has a little bit more to it. So the description on the website, it says, dum de dum de dum they go through and like talk about all of the different Dolce & Gabbana perfumes, but for intense, it says, deep within the soul of the Dolce & Gabbana woman lies a potent force, a power and passion that is voluptuous in its intensity. The moments when this force is ignited are the moments for intense. So there you go. I feel like perfume descriptions are very dramatic and not necessarily over the top, even though it kinda is. It's like, oh wow, I wanna be a Dolce & Gabbana intense woman with its voluptuous intensity. But this one I have used about half the bottle and I'm just so in love with it. Obviously this one is also a little bit more of a splurge because it is a designer, but I'm telling you this one lasts on you until like the next morning. And it's not super strong as intense might lead you to believe. It's one of those kind of like middle of the range ones where you're not like, wow, I can still really pick up on this. But you will just like when you move your hair, if you spray it into your hair, or you're just kind of like moving around that you can still pick up that you are still smelling good. And to me, those perfumes are just worth it. So I absolutely love this one. Let me just go ahead and give it a little sniffy whiffy. This definitely has a little bit more of like a vanilla extract kind of a base. So if you like it, it's kind of not stingy, but it's a little bit sharper of a perfume. So it doesn't have as much like mellow softness to it. It's definitely a much stronger I don't know how to describe this. It's not too intense, it's stronger than daytime, so if you're kind of like looking for that nighttime fall scent, then this is the way to go. That's just the best way I can describe this. And my absolute favorite fall perfume, I wish you could see how much I've used of this, but this is actually like a pretty dark bottle. Oh my goodness, I have worn this for a couple years and I am just absolutely in love with it. I always say that if I could like describe myself as a scent, it would be this one. So this is Tokyo Milk Dark. This is Tainted Love. I remember going into Sephora and trying to like pick out my signature scent and I smelled so many perfumes and I had a massive headache afterwards, but this is the one that stood out. When I sprayed it and I smelled it, it was like, Wow, that smells like me. It's something I absolutely adored from the moment I smelled it. And then I compared all other perfumes to it and I was like, nope, this is still the one I want. Absolutely love this. So on tokyomilk.com, they describe this and it says, not for the faint of heart, a fragrance sparked by the complexities of love with warm notes of dark vanilla bean, sensuous sandalwood, provocative spices, and an unexpected kiss of sweet orchid. I absolutely love this. And I think this brand is actually based in Colorado. I think, don't quote me on it. But what I also love is that on the back, they have the notes listed for you. I will put a more like perhaps a longer list of ingredients not ingredients, notes over here, but on the back it says dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. So when you go into the store and you read these, you're like, oh, I know that I love sandalwood, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up and smell it. That's exactly what happened for me. For my mom, she's always like patchouli based, and for me, I'm always sandalwood based, and we always have seemed to be drawn to the same perfumes, but it's funny because our collection is still like very different. Like you look at hers and it's like, oh wow, yeah, yeah, I could definitely tell her favorite is La Via Belle by Lancome. Love it when she wears that and she'll spray it into her hair and she moves around and just smells absolutely wonderful. And for me, this is the one. I absolutely love the deeper, the depth and the warmth of the sandalwood with the vanilla, but it still has that femininity with the white tea and the orchid. I am so in love with this one. My heart is so very happy because I finally have a signature scent. Then this one I will honestly wear all year, but I definitely bring it back out in the fall and winter and I just spray it and it's like, oh, there it is, my love, my love. This is so cool. I got this at Sephora. So if you are ever in there and you are looking for a fragrance, go straight over to this one. You will not be disappointed. 
unless you don't like warm scents, but you're gonna love it. I know you are. I know you're gonna love it. All right, my darlings, that is it. I love you all dearly, and I'll see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.